Lurking in Britain's ponds lies an unlikely invader, turtles. And strangely enough, it all started back in December 1987, when the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles first hit TV screens. Suddenly, every little Billy and Samson wanted a turtle of their own, and thousands were sold as pets. But when they grew to the size of dinner plates, many were dumped into the wild. I went on a mission to track down some of these long forgotten pets, and it's a good thing I did, as I ended up saving the lives of several other animals along the way. Right, so I'm at the spot where this terrapin's been spotted a few different times, so I'll be checking out all little logs that are sticking out, anything like that where it might be crawling out to bask on, and yeah, showing you all the other wildlife that I see along the way. So I've just found the exact spot where the turtle's been spotted a couple of times. It was literally just on the end of that, which looks like an old abandoned houseboat of some sort. So hopefully it pops up at some point today, but it is a bit cloudy right now. So funnily enough, the first lady that I spoke to today has seen the terrapin in that exact spot. She said it's quite big, it's hard to show you with one arm, but from here to there, sort of yay big. So it is a bit of a chunky one. And that was kind of the main reason that a lot of people released these pets, just because they got a lot bigger than they were expecting them to. So they got dumped in canals and ponds and lakes across the country. But I might go and have a sneaky look at these boats because she did tell me they're all properly abandoned, so I can have a little nosy. just heard a noise down here and it looks like all of these moorhen chicks have got stuck in this ditch. Look, there's no way out. There's one down that end as well. I think I'm going to have to do a little rescue mission. But that looks like a grotty bit of water. Can't leave them in there like that. I'll see what I can do. There's only one thing for it really. I won't be able to stop thinking about it if I just leave them down there. But I'm not putting my shoes in there. I get some sort of foot disease. Oh God. Please don't run for my legs. No, no, no. Oh, bollocks. I got one. Shit. Oh. How long is this going to take? <laughs> little tunnel under there that unfortunately those ones have run into. But there's another one down here that I might as well try and rescue in the meantime. Oh, actually they've all da they're all down there. Right, let's try and get them. Right, this is all of them down here now. I've got to stop them running through my legs. Come here, buddy. Come here. Trying to help. Trying to help. Trying to help. Yes. Yes. Oh, man. Where's their mamas? Is that all of them? Please be all of them. Yes. Oh, I'm so happy. I rescued them. What a day to come down here. Their saviour. That was so good. There's four of them. Got them all out. So... Hopefully they go and recover from that shock and their parents come and find them and I'll save the whole family. Look at me go. Feeling pretty good about myself after that one. Yep, yep. Four lives. Four breakfast. If you won't like and subscribe for that, what will you like and subscribe for? Let's be honest. After completing my heroic deeds for the day, or so I thought, I continued my stroll in search of the Terrapin. That's one other thing I'd love to spot today, aside from the turtle, of course. And sure enough, I got what I wished for. Mother. I got it briefly. Oh, I suppose something's better than nothing. I mean, I said that I wanted to see one and did. But I mean, it perched on that thing. It was such a perfect little shot. Hopefully that was in focus only got like the briefest little shot of that thing but <clears throat> a day where you see a kingfisher is always a good day Whoa. i just spooked him and he flew off into one of these trees oh he just dipped down to get a mother freaking fish oh <gasps> 
That was nuts. He just came zipping back towards me, perched up, got another very brief shot of him holding a fish, which is cool. Um, but now I've lost sight of him. But hey, two shots of a kingfisher, even if they're not that long. One of them, innit? One of them. I'm definitely not giving up, but I am thinking it might be more worth trying a pond or a lake. So it's a bit more of a finite area. This canal obviously just keeps going and going and going. So it could be anywhere. So it is feeling a little bit tricky. I haven't actually seen that many good spots for a turtle to bask. So I'm heading back to the spot where I've seen it being reported on that app. And hopefully it'll be sneaking out now that it's sunny. But yeah, heading back in that direction now. You are f joking. I just thought I'd check this spot again. There's still one down there. Bugger. Right, let me go get him. Who knows if this is one I missed earlier or just an extra dumb one who's fallen back in. But he's only a baby. Don't worry, little buddy. Here to save you. There we go, there we go, there we go. Be free. There we go then, updated five lives saved before lunch. No sign of it. That's a bummer. I kind of thought it would be there. Hmm. So I just got talking to a nice guy who lives along here and he knew all about the canal. And he mentioned the Terrapin and he said that no one has seen it for a while in that spot. But he said back down this way where I've already been, at those barges where I filmed that grey wagtail, Apparently, there's often two or three sat there. So obviously I'm scurrying back that way now to hope for them instead. It was lucky that I did speak to that guy as it was only because of talking to him that I ended up bumping into this beautiful creature. What the hell? What's that doing there? Chillis chips. That looks like the crispiest fox I've ever seen. Look how pristine that animal is. What a stunning animal. Unfortunately, the terrapins were nowhere to be found at this spot, so I called it a day and made a plan to try out a different location later in the week. Pretty much as soon as I got to these ponds, this happened. Yes. Yes. Oh, I hope you come back. That is mad. I literally just got here. I was kicking myself for not having my camera ready because I swear I saw one towards the back of the pond go under. And then I saw one just there. Yeah. That was like the quickest anything has ever happened for me for finding animals. But hopefully we can get some good shots. No way, he's back already. Oh my God, I think this is just going to be one of those days where everything goes nice and easily. I've literally been here two minutes. Wild turtle in the UK. Super cool. Are you a yellow-eared slider? I have to brush up on my terrapins. Oh, I can't believe this. What a start for the day. Look, there he is. <laughs> Just floating there with the ducks and the pigeons on the fence. That is cool. I do especially love finding non-native animals. They're just exciting, something out of the ordinary. So if you happen to know about any, maybe near you or anywhere in the UK, please let me know and I'll go and do my best to try and find them. But this guy wasn't the only terrapin in the pond. No, sir. So while I show you the whole gang, let me ask you this. How do these non-native reptiles affect Britain's ponds? Well, that's a great question that I'd be happy to answer. Terrapins are opportunistic feeders snatching up insects, snails, fish, tadpoles, frog spawn and even ducklings. This can reduce breeding success for these critters, especially frogs and newts, which are already struggling in Britain. They share a very similar diet to our native waterfowl and amphibians, so they are also direct competition for the food supplies of these animals. Terrapins can live to 30 to 40 years in the wild, and even though they are unable to breed successfully here, due to our climate being too cold for the hatchlings to survive winters, once released, they remain there for decades, causing a long-term impact on those ecosystems. So the issues they cause aren't likely to last forever, as slowly but surely these long-forgotten pets will die out. 
But the way Hollywood is nowadays, I'm sure Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is due for a live action remake any day now, so you never know when another craze could kick off. But if it does, please don't stick your new pet Michelangelo into the local pond. I really hope you enjoyed this video, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.